In this video, we will see how to use the Kindle Create add-in for Microsoft Word. Kindle has released a new add-in for Microsoft Word and in this video, we will see how to download, install and use it to create our Kindle ebooks. You can download the add-in from this website as shown on the screen. This add-in only supports Word 2010 or above for now uh, and a minimum of uh, Windows 7 operating system is required. The link to download this is given in the description section below. Currently, this add-in is only available for Windows and not for Mac. There is also another software called Kindle Create which is available for both Windows and Mac. But we will see that in detail in another video. The download file size is approximately 243 MB in size. But since I have already downloaded this, I will cancel the ongoing download. That size is quite heavy. But let's see what it can do for us in creating our ebook. It's now downloaded. Let's install it. The process is similar to installing any other software. Just ensure you don't have any Word document open while installing or the installation will be interrupted. The entire process of installation took almost 7 to 10 minutes for me. It also created a Kindle Previews uh, version 3 on my desktop uh, during the installation process. Installation is now complete. I'll go ahead and open a Word document, a blank Word document. I'm now greeted with a getting started window which shows a walkthrough of what the KDP add-in is capable of. It has a dedicated Kindle tab within the Word document. There's also an inbuilt previewer. There are also other options to customize our ebook to publish into paperback. Let us now get into the uh, actual Kindle add-in and see what uh, it is all uh, about. So in this blank uh, Word document, what I have is uh, the Kindle tab open and I'm going to go ahead and click get started to see what happens. So that's the starting point. So here it uh, shows me a welcome screen and then I'm going to click continue. And then I could select a theme here. Four themes are available. I'll go ahead and just choose classic for now and say continue. Trim options, so there are a couple of trim options here but I'm going to leave it to the default because these are only for paper bags and I'm not one, uh, worried about while uh, creating an ebook. Click continue and then say finish. So it prepared my uh, Word document and then all of these other options are activated. As you can see, it is organized into a structured way where it starts from getting started and then inserting elements into book, common elements, elements by type and then paragraph formatting, finally reviewing and then uh, uh, preparing it for publishing. So it's uh, organized structurally, which is good. Um, so this is the theme options where we chose. I think we can uh, change whenever we want it. So even after you decide uh, um, uh, writing the after writing the book that modern theme is better, we can go ahead and change it over here. For now, I'll just leave it to classic. Trim size again for paper bag. We saw that. We can uh, insert a lot of options from these template pages. So book title page would give us this title. Let me undo that. And then these are separator for sections, section break, many other options. Uh, I think it will make more sense if we have a sample book into place to see what are the other options available for that i'm going to click on this help and save you sample book so that it's easy for us to walk uh, through the complete uh, kindle options available here all right so uh, as you can see from here under this uh, current paragraph formatting it helps us to see where we are so uh, whenever whatever we select here say uh, this title book title it says book title over here if i click on this one this changes to say that it is we are under book subtitle now and this is author name similarly the other options like the keep the current element keeps changing as per our current selection this is the copyrighted text section this is the dedication text opening quote other page title body text and so on in case you want to customize this perhaps uh, if you are going to start writing your book from now on this is the best way to start with the sample and then keep replacing your elements. If you already have a written book, perhaps then you might want to open this and then uh, go to the Kindle tab and then start customizing from there on. But make sure you have a backup copy of your existing book so that you don't mess up uh, using these options on your only copy of the book. There are uh, quite a good few number of options here. And uh, yeah, this is the blog quote. So these options are, can be inserted through these elements section, apply elements by type. So you've got the block quote here, chapter quote, separator, 
and all the other elements over here it's quite easy it seems to be and uh, a lot of uh, necessary options are given so that we can publish our kindle book easily uh, let's see what this kindle previewer option does the document has not been saved let's save before plugging yes i'll go ahead and save this it's taking a while still going on there it says uh, the it's converting the book to kindle format and checking to see if enhanced type setting is supported book conversion in progress this is actually quite a good option because instead of uh, checking this after we upload it to the kindle uh, website perhaps we can do all these settings previewing right inside our desktop without the need of any internet connection um, and then uh, upload it once it's all ready so that it, we can quickly publish it using kdp but the, there's one caveat here which is that uh, it is still this uh, add-in or the kindle create software it's all in the uh, beta stage uh, so we can expect some issues while working on it but so far i haven't encountered anything i haven't encountered any issue so it's good uh, let's see how the preview looks now taking quite some time yeah there it's there it's, it's looking very good uh, let me see all the pages it's really good it's neatly structured into different sections and i hope this is how it also looks on the kindle well i see there's some change over here you see there's a break in the sentence perhaps that's how the word document was everything else looks good there's a neat section break here it looks really professional Overall, it seems really nice yep so i got this tablet option let me check the phone option wow there are some keyboard options that got displayed neat it's quite intuitive and it looks very neat i could move around this phone as well This is something perhaps I would definitely make use of uh, when I am writing my current book. I can change the options to check how it looks. There's also a drop cap that's got added. So this is the Kindle looks like it's a uh, kindle paper white i think so that's all it has to about perhaps this is definitely worth trying do try using this and let me know in the comments below how it works for you and uh, as i said this is still in beta stage and you can expect some issues while working with it but make sure before you upload that it's all looking well uh, using the traditional uh, previewer that's available in KDP. But that's just for your first book. But if it, if you are happy with this, you can go ahead and publish future books using this without any much uh, inspection. To give you a quick uh, overview of what could be the problems uh, using these beta versions, uh, it's not much, but then it. Uh, almost everything is manageable manually uh, first thing is that your uh, images uh, might appear smaller after you convert the kindle ebook so you might want to check that and preview uh, to make sure you get what you want to get what you wanted and tables cannot be resized and might flow outside of the book's margins after importing so uh, may make sure that you put the tables also as images so that it doesn't overflow outside of the margin and another thing is that applying styles to paragraph next to inline images in Word can produce unwanted uh, results. The uh, Another thing is that the drop caps may not work well. So the first paragraphs and drop caps may not be available for some ebooks. It's not for all, but some may have issues. And another problem could be that uh, the uh, Kindle Previewer may not display the table of contents for some ebooks, especially where the track changes uh, within Word 
is on the track changes feature should be off so that you can see the table of contents inside your previewer uh, finally you might notice that there could be some changes in the indentation of your paragraphs after importing using the add-in because the add-in considers all the paragraphs as a body text by default and the body text style has a default intent within the add-in uh, software uh, for better reading so if you want to customize that maybe you want to use these styles uh, like chapter title first per chapter first paragraph which are all inbuilt inside the uh, add-in uh, ribbon add-in tab within the word so that your special paragraphs don't require uh, uh, totally different indents and it will all be consistent across your ebook uh, so these could be uh, the possible uh, limitations or possible problems issues in this beta version of the uh, kdp add-in yeah and finally also please do not open your ebook that you create using add-in inside the kindle create software both uh, uh, necessarily won't talk well with each other so that if you want to create an ebook inside create just use that for your preview and publishing if you want to use kdp add-in just use that alone please don't mix both these softwares for now because these are in beta stage and they may not talk well with each other i go ahead and close this so that's all it has to about using the kindle add-in for microsoft word thanks for watching please do like and subscribe for more such videos